If you are brand new to laser engraving, I wouldn't start off with acrylic plates. Get some of the, you know, your little wooden projects engraving stuff going and then, you know, then you can make the step over to it. Now I'm going to take the assumption that you already have your laser, you've already got it set up and, you know, you kind of know the basic functions of it. Jumping over to Creative Studio just to get that project started. Before I even had my material laid out and hooked up to the machine, I just wanted to see the basic layout. I knew I said it had some five inch uh, plates, so I just, you know, put in a, a very basic box right there. You go in, you download your image of whatever you want. Uh, this is just, I just searched, you know, dinosaur uh, free SVG files. If you are going to be selling these, make sure it's for commercial use if you're going to be selling it you know and i'm just throwing down some basic stuff here this is actually just a rectangle that i'm going to put as an engraving just so then i can um it makes a nice line down there text is whatever you want as you can imagine sky's the limit for text and what you want sure you put down a name uh companies whatever logos that's where your creativity comes into play and or what the customer is going to want. Wait, there's more. Uh, before you hit print, you want to double check your settings. Now, I am a little hesitant to tell you the exact settings that I use, not because I don't care if you copy these, but it's more of because really even within machines and, and areas, temperatures even outside, do play a factor into that so if you're you know inside in a in a you know climate controlled shop i'm out here in my garage we're getting into winter it's cold either way it plays an effect so i will tell you my settings that i'm using just know you may need to adjust them a little so the one thing with acrylic is if your settings are too hot well it just will boil and, and kind of actually cook the inside of the acrylic you don't want that so go on the lower end. You'll be surprised that you don't need that much power when doing uh, acrylic. So I've found that about 15% power and about 450 to 500 millimeters per second speed is right on. Now before you just go off and hit print, you, there's we gotta dive into what makes clear acrylic so special with diode lasers. Well, that laser is just gonna go straight through it. So the important thing is you need some type of backer behind it. Some people have painted it. I haven't. I just simply use black cardstock and it works great. So if you want to go the whole paint issue, I know there's a bunch of other videos out there showing or, you know, doing that. But honestly, like I'm telling you, black cardstock, it works wonders. And then a couple other things you're going to want to know is because it actually goes through the acrylic, You'll want to set the actual focus, not on the top of the acrylic, but on the bottom or kind of where your paper is. So I simply put just down some plywood, then I put my paper, then I focus it to that, then I place my acrylic, mark out my layout, and then we're ready to go. As soon as you take off that plastic, do not touch the acrylic and or rub it. It scratches like crazy. Once it's in there and done, you'll notice it kind of has that black char. You just go simply take it off, wash it off, just put a little dab of soap on there. Um, you can touch it at that point because you're washing it. But as soon as it's done washed, you are not touching the face of it. Now I tell you this because even using a paper towel can scratch these little guys. So what do you do from there? Well, I would suggest if you are gonna be going and selling these, then once dried off and there's no streaks or something, get some of that um, sticky uh, protective paper, pretty much what came on it, so then you can put it over it to be able to ship it. Now I already know I'm gonna be asked, so where did I get these little LED plates? Uh, just Amazon, okay? Well, just, just search LED, well actually just look at the link down below, okay? These are awesome little uh, LED plates holders that, you know, they work perfect. Uh, now there are a couple different sizes, you know, I picked up both round and rectangular actually that one's part of my uh, Scrap pieces of acrylic so that one technically doesn't sit inside still worked out and turned out great either way um, I think a four pack of these was like 25 bucks and if you are going to be doing this, you know if production type stuff doing a whole bunch You can find a bunch overseas for a lot cheaper buying in bulk 
and these will go for anywhere between 20 to 30 bucks. Knock out a bunch of them, and I'll tell you what, it is an attention grabber as people are walking by during those shows and everything. That's all I got. We'll see you next time.